In SpectroFlow version 3.2 and later, the Autofluorescence Explorer tool has been added to help identify and analyze multiple autofluorescent signatures within a single sample. This video will demonstrate the Autofluorescence Explorer using a 12-color mouse spleen experiment. At this point in the experiment workflow, all reference controls have been recorded, including the unstained control. For best results, make sure that the unstained control matches the sample preparation and staining conditions of the multicolor sample and that enough events have been collected. Launch the AF Explorer tool by right-clicking on the unstained control and selecting Autofluorescence Explorer. The AF Explorer tool will pop up in a new window with instructions on how to proceed. This box can either be moved to the side or closed. On the left is a fully functional worksheet that is auto-populated with plots and includes gates to select singlets and exclude debris. The worksheet can be customized to fit the data. If necessary, additional plots and gates can be created. Using the spectral plot or pseudocolor plots, identify two parameters that resolve the different AF populations. There are a few methods to do this. Here, we'll show a simple approach that is a good starting point for most samples. Select one detector from the UV or violet arrays and a second detector from the blue, yellow, green, or red arrays. In this example, we selected V7 for the x-axis. The plot properties menu can be used to scan through the blue, yellow, green, and red parameters by selecting the y-axis field and using the up and down arrows on the keyboard. This allows us to quickly identify a combination of detectors that best resolves different AF populations. For this dataset, we chose YG4, but other detectors could be used to produce similar results. Next, draw gates around the populations. In general, it is best to use several smaller gates that capture distinct signatures rather than one large gate that captures a wide range of intensities. Right-click a gate and select Extract AF from Gate to add that population's autofluorescent signature to the plot in the top right. Repeat this process for each gate. The lower section of this window has features to determine which signatures are unique. Review the similarity matrix to view values calculated for the selected AF populations. Click VET AF to automatically choose the brightest AF signatures that fall below the similarity threshold indicated here. The default similarity threshold value is 0.98, but can be reduced. Individual signatures can also be manually selected and deselected. For this sample, two unique AF signatures were identified. Next, click Accept Selected AF. This generates a new reference group containing the AF populations identified in the AF Explorer. To unmix the data, right-click on the multiple AF group and select Unmix Using Multiple AF. The AF populations are now listed in the unmixing window. In this example, the experiment was previously unmixed, so the reference control gates are already in appropriate positions. Proceed to the QC Controls tab to review the similarity matrix and complexity index. This will compare the new AF signatures to the other fluorochromes in the assay. Click Live Unmix or Create a New Unmixed Experiment to calculate unmixing. To evaluate the results, view the data from the unmixed, unstained sample. This can be done in an N by N unmixed worksheet, or you can display side scatter versus all parameters. When using the standard unmixing workflow with only one AF signature, 
there was unexpected signal in some of the fluorescent parameters. But using the multi-AF workflow with the AF Explorer tool, we see that extra signal is gone. If further optimization is needed, right-click on the AF group and select Edit Multiple AF to reopen the AF Explorer tool. For any additional questions about evaluating and extracting autofluorescence from samples, check our website for other helpful videos or reach out to the applications team.